let's make no bones about it, this isn't half as spine chilling as it looks. This is a factory at Red Hill, Surrey, where Britain's most surprising exports are manufactured. Plastic bones and skeletons. They also make lifelike rubbery brains and artificial livers and kidneys come to that. This is the industry that has taken the gruesomeness out of anatomical studies, producing moulded parts of the body for use in the world's hospitals and medical schools. They don't roast meat in this oven, they simply bake remarkable replicas of human bones which are so true to nature that an American college returned an artificial skull it had ordered, thinking they'd been sent a real one by mistake. Once shaped and buffed, even Hamlet's gravedigger couldn't distinguish it from the genuine eerie thing. Theatres and film companies order some of these grisly looking creations, though mostly they're for serious students, as playthings they come out too costly at 36 pounds or so for a bare skeleton. Remember, there are 27 separate bones in the human hand, or had you forgotten, as against 26 in the human foot. Most of the skeletons that medical students used came from the Middle East, but fewer and fewer countries now allow the export of human bones. And the plastic skeletons are less expensive and more durable. The last English skeleton to get into medical hands was one left over from a police experiment that followed the famous Hague acid bath murders after World War II. Now, in this age of plastics, they mass-produce their anatomical specimens. It's amazing the things that people make.